Chapter Twenty One of the Life of Benjamin Franklin. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Greg Giordano. The Life of Benjamin Franklin by Samuel G. Goodrich. Chapter Twenty One paper a poem some wits of old such wits of old there were whose hints showed meaning whose illusions care by one brave stroke to mark all humankind called clear blank paper every infant mind when still as opening sense or dictates wrote fair virtue put a seal or vice a blot the thought was happy pertinent and true methinks a genius might the plan pursue i can you pardon my presumption i no wit no genius yet for once will try various the papers various wants produce the wants of fashion elegance and use men are as various in a fright i scan each sort of paper represents some man pray note the fop half powder and half lace nice as a bandbox for his dwelling place he's the gilt paper which apart you store and lock from vulgar hands in his scrutor mechanics servants farmers and so forth are copy paper of inferior worth less prized more useful for your desks decreed free to all pens and prompt at every need the wretch whom avarice bids to pinch and spare starve cheat and pilfer to enrich an heir is coarse brown paper such as peddlers choose to wrap up wares which better men will use take next the miser's contrast who destroys health fame and fortune and a round of joys will any paper match him yes throughout he's a true seeking paper past all doubt the retail politician's anxious thought deems this side always right and that stark naught he foams with censure with applause he raves a dupe to rumours and a tool of knaves who want no type as weakness to proclaim while well, such a thing as fool's cap has a name the hasty gentleman whose blood runs high who picks a quarrel if you step awry who can't adjust or hint or look endure what's he what touch paper to be sure what are our poets take them as they fall good bad rich poor much read not read at all them and their works in the same class you'll find they are the mere waste paper of mankind observe the maiden innocently sweet she's fair white paper an unsullied sheet on which the happy man whom fate ordains may write his name and take her for his pains one instance more and only one i'll bring tis the great man who scorns a little thing whose thoughts whose deeds whose maxims are his own formed on the feelings of his heart alone true genuine royal paper is his breast of all the kinds most precious purest best End of chapter 21. Recording by Greg Giordano. Newport Ritchie, Florida.